Hey everybody, John here. I'm here with Alan Dodge, uh, one of the local scout masters. We're at our first Connecticut dog, and um, Alan's making a pretty interesting appetizer here. Alan, can you tell me about it? It's called a bacon onion bomb. Wow. And uh, it's pretty much a little meatloaf inside an onion that you kind of take off the outer shell. Then you wrap it with bacon. The primary food group, yeah. bacon. So let's see if I bought enough bacon to go all the way around for each one, but pretty easy. It takes 20 minutes to prepare. To prepare 20 and, minutes? Uh, probably another 40 minutes in the Dutch oven, so. Awesome. And so that's beef or is it sausage or a mixture of both? Uh, beef. Um, I saw a recipe where they call it for both beef and pork. Okay. But only bought the beef today. Excellent. And how did you get into Dutch oven cooking? Through scouts. Through scouts. Yep. All right. So. There you go. Love scouts. All right. Thanks. We're here with John Norcross at the dog and I uh, couldn't help but to notice his rig for uh, his Dutch oven table. And uh, sure enough, he built it himself. John, tell us a little bit about it. I saw this idea online and I copied it. I'm, not, I'm giving credit to uh, the people at uh, Truck Wagon Supply. Okay. This is uh, a copy of their table. Um, I feel I could make it and so I did. Nice. I mean, it strikes me as being very durable and I love that it's got these wings off to the side. Yeah. So you got a spot for your utensils. Is it, will it sturdy enough to hold the pot as long I've as it's had, counterbalanced? I've had a 14 inch on there. And that's a heavy pot. Yep. Nice, nice. How long did it take you to make? Uh, I didn't work on it consistently. I did it over a period of time, but basically I figure I have maybe 20 hours into it. Wow, that's not bad at all. And um, I think you were telling me that some of the pieces you bought prefabricated. Actually, yes. The legs I bought off of Amazon and the aluminum diamond plate I bought is a sheet stock from Home Depot. Everything else was okay. uh, repurposed steel. But you pop riveted, put in the hinge yourself, right. did, so right. still quite a bit Even of work. the hinges were repurposed out of a cabinet I took apart. Uh, I love that. Upcycling yep. is a good thing. Yep. All right, I'm here with Tom and Deb. Uh, there are other participants at the dog, and um, they have a pretty interesting Dutch oven here that I'd like to talk to them about. So where are you all from? We're out of Ellington, Connecticut, not okay. too far northeast of Hartford. Pretty local. Yep. And have you been Dutch oven cooking for a while? or is Quite, kind of a yeah, about 20 years. And I hear you're both scout leaders as well. Yes. We were yes. scout leaders. We're, we're retired leaders. now. <laughs> retired, the best kind of scout leader. Yes. Yeah. One with a lot of equipment and some time on our hands. All right, great. Um, can we uh, take a peek at your, sure, your dish absolutely. here? Absolutely. Well, it just went under the coals. So, okay. Uh... And what are we making today? This is a uh, lasagna that... Uh, I'm part of the lasagna. Uh, this isn't a... Uh, Who is it? It's a cast aluminum Dutch oven. Uh, wow. Made by uh, Scott Manufacturing Company and an American company, which uh, unfortunately is no longer in business. Okay. So, uh, so nice made in America cast nice aluminum pot. cast aluminum. And... Um, and uh, it's what would you say? It's maybe a third the weight, or a quarter of the weight. About a third of the weight. Third of the weight. About a third of the weight of, a, of cast of cast iron. Great. Right. Uh, so this um, lasagna is uh, we prepped it by pre cook. We cooked the uh, ground beef, added uh, fresh onions, uh, plenty of garlic. There's no such thing as too much garlic. No, we all love garlic. Fresh basil from the uh, from the garden and. Uh, we used, um, we put our um, our cheese and uh, eggs and regatta in a plastic bag. We mixed it up. Mix it all up okay. ahead of time and uh, alternate still no it. dishes and you piped it right out. Yeah. Yep, smart. Piped it right out. Makes cleanup a little bit easier. And uh, we just got to give this about an hour and uh, should be good to go. I'm so sorry you guys can't smell this. It smells really good. So, all right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you're you. welcome. I've got a father-son team of Dutch oven enthusiasts here. What's your name? Dan. Dan. Rich. Rich. The name tags gave that away, but I was trying to act <laughs> professional. Um, so, guys, uh, I see three pots here. What do you got cooking? Well, we got chili, um, a cornbread that has cream corn in it. It's it's more of a sweet cornbread because I eat it almost like a cake. Okay. Uh, it's very moist, not moist. dense like some of them can be. And then also a blueberry crumb coffee cake. Okay. So now cornbread i love the jiffy mix i've searched high and low for all different cornbreads i keep going back to jiffy what's your secret uh it's completely from scratch it's flour it? cornmeal um uh, eggs oil sour cream um cream corn okay uh and 
it's that's just, I've been searching for a long time to find a recipe that had creamed corn in it because that's the way my grandmother used to make it. That's the way my dad made it too. I could never find it. I found this one in a cookbook. They called it Charlie Bread. And as soon as I saw, you know, add cream corn, I said, that's it. And it works out great. Yeah, great. Yeah, you know, that's the thing, guys. Um, you know, once I find a recipe, I kind of, you know, beat it into the ground. But it's always good to come to events like this and you learn new things from different people who have just different perspectives and uh, have just frankly tried things that um, you might not have. So, um, you know, I encourage you to get out to these dogs and um, definitely uh, make some friends and, uh, you know, share a meal. And uh, it's all good stuff.